How many of you remember the infamous line, Luke, I am your father? Well, turns out that wasn't even the line he said. Never was. And what about the phrase, mirror, mirror on the wall? Non-existent in Snow White. And if you thought this guy was the guy running around your Monopoly board, you'd be wrong. No monocle. What does all this mean and why am I mentioning it? Well, because of the phenomenon called the Mandela Effect. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tim Ford Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thanks very much for joining me. Yes, today we're looking at the Mandela Effect, which at the moment, in my opinion, is nothing more than a common collective misconception regarding our memory of certain events and or past films and companies. The concept has been around for decades before it was even called the Mandela Effect, but it is nothing more than our sometimes limited memory that we possess as a species. So why is it in Tin for Tuesday, I hear you ask? Well, some people think the Mandela Effect is nothing more than a side effect for something entirely different. Channel Mandela Affected has more details about the whole thing. Let's take a look. I've put this video off for a while, and if I'm honest, for a multitude of reasons. But the main one being, uh, when you apply it, or let, let me put it this way, um, say you're describing it to somebody and they do it then let's just say the next days are, for instance that person will be different and you start questioning them they'll have different memories they'll have a different character different persona or all, all the trimmings they have the whole lot they're a different person and it's disheartening and it can be heartbreaking so you know do do this what you like and i'm only talking to the people that are affected because i don't give a monkeys about anyone else you can say what you want so well i have been affected by the mandela effect in the sense that i thought something was one thing only to realize that the whole time it was actually the other thing but i just put that down to not being great at remembering the detail of that moment you could also say that my memory tried to fill in the gaps of things that it wasn't too sure of which i'm pretty sure in most cases with the mandela effect is what's going on when I state this claim that I know what I'm talking about with this, I, I've put it up there that I do and I'm 100% behind it. I don't mind if the people want to scrutinize it who've got the Mandela effect and I will answer them and I will try and put it across a, a different ways if need be or go into better depth or whatever they need. But, um, you know, it's gonna be there for a while this video and play around with it, play around with what I'm saying and Put your comments down if you want to i mean i really i don't recommend you do it that's my advice is i don't recommend you do it um i'm in the process of doing more research and finding more answers to this and i think i've found a two-month cycle when you do it that if somebody does it within two months they're back on your timeline say what now timelines you are saying that the mandela effect is related to timelines Okay, it seems that some people are thinking that bad collective memory is excellent evidence for jumping on and off timelines. I'm not I'm not 100% with that yet. That's just something I'm just playing with at the minute, so don't quote me on that. Phew, okay. I thought you went from zero to tinfoil in record time there. Carry on. Now, for those who've got the Mandela effect, you are familiar with the buzzing of the ears that you get. Um, nope, I'm afraid I haven't experienced the buzzing. Now, are you at the level where you can alter it yourself? You can control the buzzing? I'm afraid I'm not at that level yet. Kind of disappointing. Unless, of course, you're talking about tinnitus, in which case I'll pass on that one. Mandela Affected continues to talk about the buzzing until he goes on to say how you can use it. Now... It's odd. It really is odd. But if you want to shift, let the buzzing develop and let it run its course. That's it. That is, that is all there is to it. Okay, so in order for me to time shift, I need to allow the buzzing to start and do nothing. Right, okay. Got you, I think. Let the buzzing that you get in your ears run its course. Don't panic, don't jilt, don't, don't do anything. Don't control it, 
just let it run its complete course. It goes louder, goes a lot louder. Let it run its course. And what you'll find is then you've shifted. I'm sorry, but I really don't think that hearing a buzzing noise, which may or may not be the start of tinnitus, and allowing that buzzing noise to go unchecked results in being able to time shift. I'm gonna to need to see some evidence for this one, please. And I don't mean the kind that shows that a chocolate bar's name is wrong. But like I say, if you do that, you're gonna notice differences. And I don't know how you'd shift back. I'm gonna be honest with you here. That would be a problem for me. Mr. Mandela Effect here goes on to express how he feels about the knowledge of having these time shifts. So I don't wanna put my own thoughts into this. I don't want to direct you down certain paths and say, oh, I think it's this and it's definitely that. I don't know. I'm just gonna tell you all the things that I've seen, been witness to, and that I know work and that I will stand by on my channel no matter what. I'm not gonna put something up here that I can be ridiculed by those that are affected because just unsubscribe if you think that. If you think it's a lot of rubbish, just don't unsubscribe. It's as simple as that. Do I say that now or shall I wait? Usually when people ask my opinion on most things in life, um, they usually don't like it because I don't sugarcoat stuff and I tell people the truth. So I suppose the bottom line there is if you were, if you wanted my opinion, don't moan when I give it you. Fair point, fair point. I've got documents that are like, dissertations and theses that could just be transmitted could just be handed in sorry could just be submitted in simply because I've put the graft in I've put a lot of work so that I can substantiate anything that I'm saying otherwise I'm not going to say it I don't want to look an idiot in the future at any point so bottom line I suppose to reiterate what I've been waffling on about is I stand by the claim that you shift by letting the buzzing run its course. I've got a buzzing in my ear, it wouldn't disappear. I asked my friends, do you hear it too? I'll let it run its course, I'm not crazy of course. I don't need proof to know it is true. The buzzing makes me smile, I think I'll drift a while. I'm shifting through time like a loon. <laughs> Own a tinfoil head, I think the earth is flat And I ain't so sure about the moon Don't care what y'all think of me This is a conspiracy I need no proof, no evidence I need no source <laughs> I don't like to be ignored I may just be really bored It's been a long time since I had intercourse When you're at the stage where you can control it with your mind I know there's lots of you that like that Lots, there's Say I was to put a wet finger in the air I'd say 700-ish That subscribe on my channel that can do that Easy 700 people that can control the buzzing and time shift. Impressive. That's the clean way to shift. Anyway, you got control of the buzzing where you can manipulate it and just let it run its course and you'll shift. But my recommendation is only do it when you've had enough. I mean, when you've really had a gut full of everything that's going on and you think I can't take it anymore. And what you'll find is it's like flicking a reset. Suddenly the computer or whatever will come back on it's not quite the same. It's a little bit better maybe, if that's the correct word. I don't know if it is the correct word at all. You haven't got much correct, to be fair. It's definitely different, but it's the differences that you get. Some differences are amazing. Um, three shifts ago, blues and reds. Wow, I've never seen blue and red like I see it now. Uh, there's an extra lens in the eye that I don't know is out there as well. An extra lens in the eye? Now these shifts can see changes in our own biology. I'm sorry, but this is getting way too weird, even for me. So what we have here, it seems, is a group of people that can manipulate buzzing in their ears in order to time shift. The Mandela effect then that they then experience is, I guess, evidence for this shift.
Clearly, this needs a lot more investigation and research. I will definitely be revisiting this one. Right, that brings this bizarre episode of Tim Ford Tuesday to a close. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. A like and subscribe would be thoroughly appreciated if you did. I have been your ever-present host, Simon Dan, and I shall see you all on Friday where finally the Flat Earth Fail compilation returns. See you then.